What's up y'all and welcome back to another episode of Blackwater. We've got three different groups of spot and stalk axis hunters um, that we've got to get done over the next seven, eight days. Here's to a short drive hopefully. It's about it's supposed to be about four hours. I gotta knock some time down. It's 125. Clients are gonna be there at three. Jancy's already there though, so uh, next time I see you guys we'll be meeting up with him, coming up with a plan for some spot and stalk and and uh, trying to get five or six axis bucks down. We'll see you guys when I get to Rock Springs. Brent and I had a little luck this morning on our spot and stalk, but uh, I was not able to film that and do the spot and stalk. So <clears throat> Jancy's up this afternoon with Ty, and they missed one. Ty missed one this morning at about 100 yards. He's a good buck. Real good buck, Jancy said. He might have got a little bit nervous, but Jancy took him back out and shot his gun. Um, after we ate breakfast this morning, his gun's still dead on. So uh, we're headed to town right now to pick up some batteries and a few other things. And then I'm actually gonna jump behind the camera and uh, go out there and film Jancy and Ty do another spot and stalk. Ty's turn, him and Jancy are gonna lead the way. Hopefully, Jancy gets it done. We're gonna get and, done. <laughs> and Ty doesn't accidentally miss. We're gonna sneak along this fence line. And you remember yesterday how we came out on that cactus flat? We're gonna kinda aim to do the same thing and take that little or you got like enough area to actually see something. We just had a nice axis buck run out in front of us. There's actually two of them. A bunch of black buck does and a couple of axis does with them. We're gonna try to work this brush line up here. Keep the wind in our favor, see if possibly we can't get one to be hiding in the cedar thicket up there. Get Ty a pretty good shot. Hopefully it'll work out.
shot. Love it when a plan comes together. Good job all the way around, man. I don't know if it was gonna happen after a little bit. Those freaking little baby move on running away made them like they were gonna feed right out perfectly in front of us. Then they saw those move on kind of skitter off and just like, nah, screw this, and duck back in. We got them cutting through this little opening right here. I'll be real honest, I almost screwed us up because we were waiting. <laughs> Jancy had them in a good spot, and I didn't think they were gonna come back out. And so I suggested that we move up and go through this gap. And about the time that we were halfway there, I seen some horns come out of the brush up there. The shot looked like it might have been a tad back, but the, the deer was quartering pretty hard away. And uh, I'm sure you could hear the thud. We could all hear the thud. And he wasn't he wasn't moving great going into the brush. I mean, he was running, but he was definitely hit. So we thought we might have heard a crash, but at the same time, we saw four more axis deer run out of the cedar thicket so there's no telling what that could have been but we're hoping that he's he's already expired up there and that will be two spot and stock bucks for two spot and stock axis hunters so that's a pretty good little weekend there guys as y'all can tell from the <clears throat> video last night it didn't go as good as we thought it would be uh, the shot was definitely really far back and found some stomach matter and, and a little bit of blood but um, we, we definitely didn't want to keep pushing him so Jancy called uh, Mr. Martin and he's got a, a group of really good cur dogs and so they came out early this morning we, we left the deer overnight and uh, they just dropped out uh, here where we, where we found the first blood and are headed that way to try to see if we can recover him. So um, hopefully our plan will still be able to come to fruition and uh, we'll be able to send Ty home with, a, with another nice axis buck on this spot and stalk hunt. But this is, this is part of outfit, man. If you're gonna be in the business, you have to be able to deal with these awkward situations and, and uh, sometimes it, it gets messy like this and, and that's just, that's just the way it goes man hopefully mr mr martin and his dogs will uh will strike out on a on a good trail and, and they'll be able to recover that deer and uh, everybody will go home happy Well, y'all, unfortunately, things did not go as planned, and uh, the dogs did find the initial spot, and we thought they got on the trail for a little bit, but just the only thing we bumped were, were live deer um, that were obviously healthy. Along the way, we did find a deadhead from a previous client, so that's pretty cool, and hopefully that'll be what happens for Ty as well. Uh, when we're out here stomping around, spotting and stalking again one day, we, we end up running across his bucks, so... Sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, it's the sad truth of everything, but um, his brother Trent was successful and, and we're gonna go ahead and pack his stuff up for, for him, uh, get it in their truck, get them loaded up and, and headed home. And then Jancy and I can shower up and rest for a little while before the next guys get in. gonna do it for today we'll see you guys back here tomorrow on another episode of Blackwater <laughs>